Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... We're here. In the forest. Ooh. Ah, it's nice to hear that sound right off the bat. I've been trying to remember something, Burning Dog fans. Oops, that is not the right button. Oh no. I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 in the last few days, and that's not going to mess with my control knowledge at all. Aha! That's it. Okay, was it this door? I found this door and one in that direction in the last session, and I investigated one of them, and it led me on a ridiculous go wild goose chase. Let's see where this one goes. Ah, fuck. It is not the map button, me. That is not how you put things away in. Okay, harbor. Yeah, that does sound about right. Holy pants, it's dark in here. I don't know if this is how it actually looks or not, but I really like how when you uh, first get the lanterns out, it takes a second for it to reach maximum brightness, as if the flame needs to grow. You know, it's not just like a uh, like an electric light, or just instantly floods the entire area. Even this one is like that to a lesser degree. Oh, that's just because it doesn't shine as far. Yeah, I don't need to be here. Unsubscribe from that. Oh, actually, while I'm here... Uh, how the hell do I get over there? Oh, please don't break everything. Let me try something I've discovered, folks. Eh. And... Eh? No, it's no good. I don't have the mouse. Never mind. I discovered a function of my, uh... Recording program, which allows me to doodle on the screen. Like a, uh... <laughs> like a sportscaster in the 90s. I did not really think through the part where, uh... Some games take absolute control of the, uh, of the mouse. Oh. Okay, so it didn't ruin everything, but it did alt-tab to my desktop, and that's not what I would refer to as ideal. I think I need to figure out how to get there. Because that seems to lead down. And, uh, Nintendo fan Link left a comment suggesting that the... The thing with the door I can't get through in the harbor, that seems to be somewhat common. And the, uh, solution seems to be going through the door from the other side. I guess that fixes it. Unless it's like you can leave, but you can't go in, which is, you know, unhelpful. Did this lead anyway? Back up here. Okay. So first, I'm going to check out that other door and see where it goes. Then I'm going to try and figure out this thing with the uh, harbor door. Not to be confused with Labrador, which is a uh, part of Newfoundland. Ooh. I'll take that. Just tuck that right away. Oh, it should be right here, actually. I'm lost. Oh, but 
hot sauce. Alright, brighter one. We need more light. I could have sworn it was right up here by the top of the curve. Shite. Uh oh, there it is. Found it! Where's this one go? Okay, so this is the one I must have investigated first. Evening. I use the title, What Lies Beneath, in a lot of my uh, LPs. I wouldn't say it's often enough to be a running gag, it just comes to mind a lot. It's taken from a uh, sort of horror thriller movie from the 90s. I never actually saw it myself, because even if I weren't a, a, ter a terrific coward, is what I'm trying to say, uh... Even if that weren't the case, uh, I was too young to watch horror movies back then, in the esteemed eyes of my parents. And I, a coward, was not about to argue with them. <laughs> it, oh. Yoink. Oh. Clin. It is a good name. No, no, there's more... Oh, it does automatic update it. Oh, my face. Not my money maker. Okay, admittedly, I could have done this during the day. But, uh, I'm about as far from the bed in this region as you can possibly get. Given that it's down there in... What is that? I-10? <laughs> I mean, I'm not actually very far from it physically, but I, uh, in order to get there, I kind of have to make a, a zigzag across the entire map. So I guess I'll just head off in this direction. How long can I just do... Oh, no, I'm up against something. Let's rotate the camera to make it more confusing on myself. Now the sticks aren't pointing in the same direction as they were. Oh, look at that, I found it. Nailed it. It was the right thing. Oh, so the harbor lies underneath. Oh, Jesus. Felt like I was sliding towards the edge there. That was weird. Anyway, um... Looking into it years later, I've you know, still never seen the movie, but looking into it, it sounds... Frankly, like it's not very, you know, mind-blowing. Uh, you know, it's like... Richard Gere and his wife being haunted by the ghost of uh, the woman Richard Gere had an affair with. And, uh... I just thought it was funny that from all accounts, it sounds like the movie was nothing to write home about, but... That name really stuck in my head as something cool. What lies beneath... I'm not even sure what it means in the context of the movie. Alright. Let's try turning around and see if we can get somewhere useful. Getting into the area that's full of mans. Or rats, anyway. I'm reminded of those, like, really old-timey fantasy things, like the Lord of the Rings, where humans are just referred to as the race of men. Right. If I could draw on the screen, I'd be circling bits to, uh, show off. Oh, fuck. I just realized I was standing on a dude. Sorry about that. It'd be so much easier if I could just say, oh, you know, I want to go here and, like, circle a bit. The 
Enfin. What? It... I mean, you get a good view of the fish from here, but... Oh, shit. Look at the, the, the shadow behind the fish. It's not actually in the wall. It's casting a shadow onto the wall behind it. That's weird. Is that actually a fossil, or did they just hang that there? Maybe it's a skeleton fish, and it's uh, just waiting. Can I jump over there? Yep, I'm over here now. I'm not entirely sure what I have done. Why did I do that? That's a bottle. Oh, fuck. This is not, like, something I had planned to do ahead of time, folks. I was just trying to get down to the door. What's all this nonsense? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know if I can make that. Ah! 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 I'm up here now. Dead dude. With a spear and another one of those urns. I'm very glad I took this ridiculous, uh... Detour. Oh. No! Oh, Jesus. I pushed the wrong button to try to jump. And it's not even the jump button in RDR. What's up with that? Come on, brain. It's certainly not A. Gilded means something that is coated in gold. I wonder exa what exactly that meant, the gilded warrior. I think the song said that she rode a yellow salamander? Maybe that was it. You know, the yellow scales shining like gold and all that. Except that would just be, no, riding atop the gilded steed. Not to be confused with the gelded steed, which is fairly common and refers to something completely different. <laughs> Sinister. Um... The fuck? Oh, I know where I am. These are poisonous mushrooms, and if I've already taken them, that means... I could have sworn there was... A bear trap right at the top of these stairs. Okay, yeah, now I do know where I am. I made it back here. While I'm here, I'll take a look around, since I was purposely leaving behind some of the urns, since I wasn't sure if Dwayne would be mad or not. I do that on occasion. It's like, okay, I can obviously collect this thing. But the game hasn't told me to do it yet, and if I just start doing it, maybe it won't tell me why I need to do that. I guess you could call it sequence enforcement, as opposed to sequence breaking. You know, like when you play a Metroidvania game and try to get all the items in the wrong order. It does stick out of the rock. Cool. Oh no. Well, at least I'm going in the right direction. By the way, if you spy one of those urns and I don't give me a timestamp or something, that would be great! I think there was one of them in here and I picked it up already. Well, there was something in here. Like a pine cone grenade. That reminds me, I need to find more pinecone grenades. It'd be cool if you could make them. You know, just pick up fucking pine cones and leave them sitting in those jars. Down under the uh, armory. Oh. I haven't the slightest idea how to retrace my steps back to the uh, other place. Oh.
Okay, what did I need to do? I needed to investigate those uh, entrances I looked into. Before I got, like, literally sidetracked, running off to the side and investigating the thing that led to the urn. I need to... Uh, you know, I can check. No harm in that. Talk with the guard. Yes! The one who sits in the commissary, and you can wager with him. Apparently. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Literally every time I see the name Renown of the Red Ranger, I think to my... I immediately picture the uh, leader of the team from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I really want to find that, because I get the impression once I find all of them, I can get Gusto and Fatal to uh, you know, fanboy slash girl over me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Except, I don't remember seeing a goddamn symbol, so, you know... They kind of showed it to me in text form. How many dollar reviews do I have? 57. Maybe I can talk to, uh... Yeah, there's Rolo. Yes. Yes. I'm just staring at that thinking, I was like, which one am I missing? Come on, brain, you can do it. Behold! He gave me that one for free. Except I only found two spiders when I was down there in the catacombs. If only the map wasn't such a piece of shit, I could might maybe find some other passages. There's gotta be something I'm missing down there. There has to be. Between that button I can't weigh down and the, uh... And the missing man and that word balloon I can't reach. Uh, yes. I didn't know that. Um... as they can find. Well, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Go up to the towers? Maybe I can find the crimson mushrooms on the bone shores, but then I wasn't really finding much of anything on the bone shores. And if you'll pardon this, uh... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I found the, uh... the triple-headed uh, acorn... Around here, actually. Right under a tree. So yeah, if you don't know where to find an acorn. 
I don't even like going outside, frankly, and even I know where to find an acorn. Under a tree. Well, there's the timer, so I'm just going to lock myself up in this box. And uh, call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Ghost of a Tale when I try and uh, find something productive to do. <laughs> Later!